Music's greatest songs. With Gumbrink, original classic hitmakers. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry to say that these guitarists were the sound to my childhood. And I'm talking proper growing up childhood, like early, early. Uh, my dad playing uh, this, oh my God, in the house. So it was great sadness that I announced that the bassist, uh, Alan Lancaster, um, passed away today, last night. In fact, we lost him. And as a result, I just want to uh, dedicate the music greats to him and what status quo, which is a band he formed and was instrumental in forming in the 60s. What they did and what they achieved, they were absolutely huge. Some, you know, there's a lot of people that say they weren't proper rock, they were plastic rock, you know, they got a lot of flack over the years. Um, But actually, super fun, ridiculous, bouncy music, you know, great, great stuff. So let's talk about them. Status Quo, they're an English rock band formed in 1962. They originated as the Scorpions and they were founded by Francis Rossi and Alan Lancaster, uh, the bassist. And they were schoolboys when they did this. And then since since then, obviously, huge amounts of lineup changes all over. Um, Rick Parfit in 1967 was a, was a massive addition. Um, and the band went in 1967, they became from the Scorpions, they became the status quo. And then in 1969, they became just status quo. And obviously, that's where my sort of parents got it from, because um, I don't think any of my friends know status quo. I mean, do you know this sound? Do you do? The only reason you might know this song, and I've chosen this one on purpose, is because in 1985 I think we'll talk about it in a minute um, they launched the first Live Aid, uh, Live Aid Bob Geldof's first Live Aid was opened by Status Quo and this song and it was massive because the BBC then used because uh, this obviously was in Wembley in London the BBC then used this song to advertise all their coverage of Live Aid. And so what happened is it became the anthem of Live Aid. So much so that that Coldplay then played it, and then played it in Live Aid 8. Uh, and Chris Martin sang it. So, you know, it, it came full circle. Um, these are some stats behind status quo. If you're British, you're going to know Top of the Pops. I don't think you'll know Top of the Pops if you're not British, but the rest of us grew up with it. It defined who was where in the charts at the time as a kid. Uh, status quo appeared on Top of the Pops more than any other band ever full stop they released over 100 singles they had 33 albums many of which were bestsellers they reached number five on the uk album chart in 1972 with with pill driver status quo achieved a career total of 25 uk top 10 albums extending all the way to their most recent release in 2019 which is backbone remarkable remarkable now doing research today on them it was like you know when you scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and you, you're going, oh, oh my goodness, I couldn't. I mean, if I had the whole of Yalla Home, the three-hour show, I couldn't cover uh, this band's, um, you know, uh, I, I couldn't even begin to scratch the surface. We'd need to do a whole show on it. So what I'm going to do is is touch on, the, on Alan Lancaster himself and then tell you about this incredible song because it is a legend song and it is, an, it is an anthem. So he was 72 years old. And him and actually some of the other members of the band have been estranged, have estranged for a number of years. But it was during the 60s and the 70s, uh, rocking all over the world. And another song, Whatever You Want. Great song. Oh, I remember my dad singing it. Um, those are the two songs that made them properly a lot of money and very famous. And they rose to prominence and, and they had a certain style. It's a bit like ZZ Top. Anyone remember ZZ Top? There's a certain sound. I have to do ZZ Top. That's another one that, that, that sort of left over from parentage. Uh, but Alan Lancaster, the bassist, who was one of the schoolboys who formed this in the, in the 60s, born in Peckham, South London, my patch. I'm not from Peckham, but it's that sort of area. Um, and he was with the band until 1985, did 15 albums. And the last one was in 1983, Back to Back. That's the name of the album. Um, although he fell out with a lot of the band members Francis Rossi today um, described him as an integral part of their sound and he paid tribute to his former bandmate he did say you know he was so sorry to hear of his passing and he said look I think everyone knows that we're estranged 
for a number of years but I just want to say you know that he's an integral part of, of history and of us it was a lovely it was a lovely thing to say very real very honest and actually quite a, a sort of evocative of the band and who they were they just loved music and they're so fun to watch and that's what I remember um, so the band today just sending condolences to Mr Lancaster's family um, because it's it's super super sad so let's pay homage just let me tell you a little bit about this song excuse me so John Fogarty from Creedence Clearwater Revival actually wrote it now again I only know of Creedence Clearwater Revival from my parents do you know of them have you heard of that what are they called again Creedence Clearwater Revival I would play a song and you'd go, oh, yeah. Maybe. So do you know who else? You know, Captain Richard? Mm. He likes a bit of that. And I don't really know. It's not my thing, but they're great. Um, anyway, they wrote it, or Fogarty did, from that from that band. Mm. Uh, and this was 1975. He wrote it, and it's on their album. Um, and it spent six weeks in the US Top 40, right? So it's their song. Anyway, then Status Quo come along. They recorded their own version. Heavy arrangement of mm. the song. Really heavy. And it was for their 1977 album, Rockin' All Over the World. So in 1985, this is when we get to Wembley Stadium, Live Aid, and they opened the whole thing with this song rocking all over the world. And then, of course, as I said, the BBC used it to advertise their TV coverage. Coldplay then did it at Live 8. The whole thing has just become anthem, anthem, anthem. And um, they've also did it for Sport Aid in 1988, and they called it Running All Over the World. So this song made the band famous and a lot of money and, and has the most kind of incredible energy around it because I was little. Do you remember watching Live Aid? See, I, I yeah. do. Being little, my mum being excited, we were all excited. And I remember the, the first, uh, the beginning of this song, where the piano starts doing the introduction before the beat drops. Iconic, very famous. And the start of Live Aid. So actually, let's listen to the song. I want you to enjoy it. Remember the bassist, very, very famous. Rocking all over the world. It is Yalla Home. It's the music greats. Let's do it. There we go. Listen. Yeah, turn it off and bounce along the road. Enjoy. If you liked this episode of Yalla Home, drop a like and subscribe. 95. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.